Hi, it's Lori from Dakota Relics. Come join me as I travel around the area searching for treasures that I can buy and then flip for a profit. You'll never know what I find unless you follow me. Come on, let's get shopping. Hi everyone. So today, actually yesterday, I traveled out to Oregon to visit my son. Um, had a bit of a difficult time getting there once I got there. Had an even worse time trying to get to his house. All of the buses and the trains were not running. People weren't showing up for work, so they didn't have people to um, drive. But after a full day of travel, I finally am here. And he agreed to take me to the Goodwill Outland, Outlet Bins in Hillsboro, Oregon. So here we are, still snowy. I'll give you a shot of that. A lot of ice, actually, is what it was. Parking lots are full of ice. It is melting today, actually raining off and on. But let's go inside and let's get shopping. Here we go, shopping at the bins. Oh. Uh, this one doesn't got much in it. To the next. <laughs> Not seeing a lot. Probably going to have to wait till another bin comes out. Ooh, that's some old skis. Ugh. I don't think I could bring those home though on the airplane. Okay, over to the other side. Miniature princess doll. Oh. That's not bad, but I don't know if I'm going to pack that. There's some things over here. That is very heavy. I don't know. It's so heavy. I hate to ship that. I hate to bring it back. Staffordshire creamer, but it's chipped. On to the next one. Oh gosh. Looks like somebody. Oh, what's this? Studio Nova. Uh, no idea what that is, but it is cute. More crystal. I've seen these before. Oh. Shoe. And then oh. It's a glass nativity. Let's see. Mary. Joseph, two wise men. Like a 
find the other Weissman. Wouldn't be too bad. There's a baby in oh and the ba oh yeah, no, the baby is in there. What the chances of finding the Weisman in there? Very interesting wrapping paper. I kind of like that. Okay. Christmas boxes. I better go get my cart. Germany plate. Yeah, it's Christmas, but. Well, here's another bin, and I'm just not having a lot of luck today. Oh, wow, that is. Very old lace. Yeah, she's nice. Old lace is old. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I got them all displayed in my case. Good for you. Yeah, well, they're expensive. Well, on to the next bin. Lots of clothes. Don't do much with clothes. Oh, a lot of My Little Ponies. thing if you had a cat to pick up. I'm seeing some latch hook. What is it? <laughs> a little kitty. I don't know. Kind of cute. I might take him. The Harry Potter one. Huh? Well, there's some of those. I might take this. I, think, I can't remember what it's called, but it's like, it's old. I think I'll take this. <laughs> Snowman. Oh gosh. Easter bunny. So I'm going to start doing a voice over here. Um, we had went to a Goodwill just down the street after the bins really didn't give us too much. So here we are in Beaverton, Oregon, I believe, just going through a Goodwill. Our good, Goodwills in South Dakota are not um, laid out like this. I like this layout way better than what we have. Um, here in South Dakota, every all the hard goods are like on top of the clothing racks. So it's, it's difficult. Oh, I saw this little clock. I was liking it. I was hoping it was like a metal uh, desk clock, but turned out to be just a very cheap plastic clock. Um, these clocks were pretty. The one in the back there is a Howard Miller travel clock, the one that I have in my hands now. Those, uh, Howard Miller is a very good timepiece. Um, still just didn't really think that, you know, people use travel clocks that much. The shelves are pretty full here, and there's like a large selection of things. This cute little trinket box with the horse on it. Um, just didn't see a lot of value in it, even though I did like it. Um, it's my daughter-in-law there. She went with us. Loved having Maddie along. Um, some wooden items. Um, 
again, you know, I have to be kind of careful with what I'm picking up just because of the uh, trying to get it back in my suitcase. So I'm looking for smaller things, but of course, doesn't always work. This was another cute little trinket box. I did like this. I just, you know, resale wise, was it worth picking up? Probably not, but it's a cute piece. I think it said made in the Philippines on that. And there we have a cutting board with a, a bird's, a bird tile in the center of it. Um, there was a lot of these shoe stretchers, not only in this Goodwill, but also in the Bems. So I don't know what was up with that. I don't, do people even use those anymore? I'm not sure. But this was a lacquered piece, um, probably made in China. Then we have a totem pole, but as you see, it's damaged. Otherwise, I may have picked that up. It's probably a souvenir piece. Here's another piece. Um, it's cute, but there again, probably not a lot of resale value. Wooden boxes. There are collectors out there for these uh, wooden cedar boxes. I did like the floral designs on there. I think that's a dogwood. And then we have this carved water buffalo, but it was so lightweight, and I think it was, you know, a little bit overpriced. Another nice lacquered box. Um, and what is, oh, a two-can napkin holder made out of wood. Probably, again, another souvenir piece. I haven't had a lot of luck selling lacquered boxes, even though I think they're pretty. Um, they just don't do so well for me. Some bongo drums back there. I maybe should have looked at those. And a gavel. That's a fish monkey pod dish. Um, those two are quite popular, uh, bringing home on vacations from either Hawaii or the Philippines. Those are some cute, that was a cute little dog. Um, I don't really know what it was. It seemed too big to be a napkin holder, but it, it was possible. And over here, it's like more of the blue section. Um, they are, the rows are kind of coordinated, color coordinated. Um, I think that was a, a homemade piece. And I'm not even sure what it was. Oh yeah, this was a cute little um, plate full of kitties in the kitchen. Collector's plates don't go for a lot of money. I suppose maybe some of them do. I just don't deal with them at all because most of them are on the very low end. There's an amber dish there. That was probably mid-century. Some rooster plates. And then just like your typical <laughs> items that you always find at Goodwill. Um, I, <laughs> it's a cute little zebra, but I also think that was more of a modern piece. Um, some, some cute accent pieces there, but I'm not seeing a whole lot that are, you know, really vintage. That was old, but there probably would have been a lid on that at one time, but it was pewter. And I don't remember what the bottom said, but it was, like I said, an older piece. Oh, I did pick up this plate. The, there was an inscription on the back. I can't read it. It is in German. But um, the painting on it was so well done, and it's wood. And um, like I said, just I think of a pretty piece. It would look great in a cabin. Or if you're from Germany, you know, as a, as a wall hanging, 
it did have a hanger on it. Um, kind of a homemade piece, I'm sure. It was a cute little bunny. Um, I think it was a candle holder. And Easter is coming up. I maybe should have picked that up. Wasn't real old, but certainly vintage. Um, Etsy classifies vintage as anything over 20 years old. Well, these are some cute little, um, I think they were Guatemalan dolls. And then this was a really interesting piece. I had no idea what it was. It looked like a crown, but I don't know what you would ever have used it for. Maybe a trinket dish, there was a base to it, but it was very damaged. But very unique piece. And a pink swan. That too is probably from the 60s or the 70s. Um, another little trinket dish. Oh, I didn't see that. Sometimes when you go back and look at the footage, you see things you missed, and there was a cute little mouse planter. Um, this bunnykin's bowl, bunnykin bowls can go for pretty pretty good money. However, you really need the set. So if I would have ever been able to find the cup to that, um, it's a child set, which would have had a bowl and a cup, um, I would have picked that up for sure. But never did find the cup. Some nice pottery pieces there, but um, again, kind of hard to bring back for what they would have sold for. Oh, there was some Joseph original birthday dolls, um, and I did think of picking a couple of them up, but as you see, that one is missing an, a wing or an, yeah, an angel wing. Um, they were kind of beat up, so left those on the shelf. They had quite a selection. Somebody must have cleared out their whole collection of birthday dolls. The larger ones were quite a bit more expensive. Um, yeah, I think that was $8.99. So then, you know, when you're getting up into that price, probably not, not you know, a huge profit on those items. So this is my first time doing a voiceover, and um, I'm hoping this is going to work. Oh, Princess Diana plate, and there was a coconut carved into a little man. That was a nice bowl. I like this one, but it was very heavy, and uh, there again, kind of wanted to keep things light on the lighter side since I'll be taking it all home in the, the airplane. If I don't know if you saw that little green depression um, glass sugar bowl. I do believe that was a reproduction, so I didn't even pick it up. So, yeah, a lot of items to look at, and I did end up buying a few things. I probably will do a haul video at some point um, to show you everything that I bought. I did like this, a little decorative screen it would have been a good accent piece if you were decorating in the Asian style. Um, I like this too, but there again, oh, that turkey was kind of cool. He would have made a good Thanksgiving um, item to list. That is actually an olive dish, so you would put your olives in there. I didn't know that bef before. Um, I found another one at one time and, and had to do a little bit of research on it. Some nice homemade tiles. Um, I liked them. Just, uh, once again, didn't see a whole lot of resale value. I don't believe they were, you know, signed by the artist, so it wasn't anything that would be collectors. It would just be a homemade piece. Oh, I, now, I'm really sorry I didn't grab this, just for myself. I think it's cute. I love elephants. Uh, it's not old, but it would have made a cute little accent. 
just for my own home. Oh, some of the old paperweights like that can sell for a bit of money, but that picture was really faded out. So I don't think that one would have would have been good. A lot of shot glasses. I did see these little cordial glasses. I I maybe sh they I think they were a dollar a piece. I maybe should have picked some up. Um, there were more on another shelf later on in the video. Not sure if I had recorded that or not, but um, I think those may have sold okay. Just a lot of glasses, a lot of tumblers. I don't always know what to pick up. Um, I know certainly there are some clear glass items that sell for quite a bit of money, but I am not knowledgeable enough to um, just buy that <laughs> without looking it up. And unless it's marked, I certainly don't know. The, the colors of these reminded me of the Fiesta brand glasses. But once again, those two were not marked, so I didn't really want to buy them and then turn out that they were just, you know, reproductions. Yes, yeah, so um, here, the clear glass, like I said, I, I don't know that much about it. I know some of it can go high, but um, we're going to end this video and break this up into two parts. Uh, just, it's going to be too long to try to get it all on one. So the next time you see us, we're going to be at a place called the Garage Sale Warehouse. And I really do get some interesting things there. I'll probably, like I said, do a haul video. Stay tuned for that. That'll be part three. Well, thanks for watching. All for now. Bye.